Just uh, item one and uh, CS one and general comment. Uh, the uh, board should immediately uh, lead the way in 21st century in transparency and inclusion uh, by adopting teleconferencing as a standard uh, for all county assets holding public meetings, regardless of what the state does. Uh, those uh, recordings. Uh, the meetings must be made immediately available for on-demand viewing, unlike uh, what happened with the Regional Planning and Roland Heights uh, CSD. Uh, CS1 uh, item, in evaluating department heads, a regional planning uh, gets a long overdue F, and the house cleaning is in order from top to bottom. Public works uh, taking one year to do a six-month project, Otter Bine here in Roland Heights uh, needs a like uh, purge. Uh, general comment, the supervisors have failed all of us in too many ways. The underfunding of the transient homeless cleanup efforts is appalling as per Ingrid who has contacted you. Noted videos on my YouTube channel and sent to Supervisor Solis and staff. We note that with the midterms, the gang of four will be no more and Gascon will be gone. My videos on the Fullerton Road flood control uh, fiasco uh, are telling. Thank you. Nick, we have next speaker, please. Our next participant is Genevieve Cleverell. Please state the 
flight on the Sea Road Drifting today. You may begin. Yes, uh, this is Dr. Kennedy Cameron. I will speak to item one and CS1. Uh, you know, it is time that you reopen. You cannot continue to have those meetings the way it is now. now. Not only you have um, the meeting you are having are not even, uh, like we assume, are way back, are way back, even interact with the uh, with you, and that need to end. I mean, we can no longer continue to be the way it has been the last few months. It is time to rejoin the world in the world when we think. And CS1 is the same thing that I usually say that we should have more information so we know what you're doing. Are you, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Please continue. Yes, I just, you know, I'm, I am very sad to see what's going on now. And I think it's time that you reopen. Many of the commission are not doing their job and because they can hide forever. Anyway, I hope you will change your mind and reopen those meetings. Thank you. Thank you. May we have the next speaker, please? Our next participant is Eric Brevin. Please state the items you'll be addressing today. You may begin. Thank you. It's Eric Brevin. I'll, I'll speak on um, both items, so two minutes. Correct? Correct. Please begin. Yeah. I mean, I have to echo what each of the articulate speakers before me said. You know, a, a fundamental principle of a free and open society is that the citizens have a right to know what's going on inside their government. And the supervisors are making it very difficult because, you know, you're the most powerful board of supervisors in America. Each of you represent over two million constituents. And yet you've used the pandemic to have the number of public meetings and move the most controversial discussions out of public earshot into closed sessions. That is not acceptable. Um, and calling an employee evaluations is completely insidious. You know, you went remote in March of 2020. It's now beyond March of 2022. The Oscars were last night, the big slap heard around the world. People are all in the same room. It, it makes no sense that you're allowed to do this. And we have no choice like the LA Times said, that if the legislature isn't ready to deal with this kind of thing, then the courts have to deal with it. Uh, we do not want to bring you to court again. Uh, we did this last time. We went to the California Supreme Court because you shamefully appealed on a Public Record Act case, and we ultimately prevailed. Uh, it, it's not acceptable, and I would urge you to immediately, in closed session today, uh, come out with an announcement that you will be resuming public meeting so that the uh, people of Los Angeles County have a right to, uh, you know, control the instruments that we have been put in place to govern. You, I mean, it's not to be dismissive of you or everybody is busy gratituding you all the time, thanking you, praising you. You have to meet openly, okay? This is as stern as it gets, and it's, it's important. It's very, very important. The whole, you know, premise of democracy is participation, okay? Excuse me? We do not uh, see the time has expired. May we have the next speaker, please? Madam Chair, there are no other speakers in the queue to address the board. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Our time for public speakers will be time of 9.39 have arrived, has ended. I'd like to thank all of you who called in to speak, and if you are unable to provide your comments, you may submit written comments as indicated on the agenda. We will continue to accept all written comments that come in during the meeting, which will become part of the official record. We will take up item one, finding to continue teleconference meetings under Assembly Bill 361 and related actions. Item one is before us for approval. I will move it, have it seconded by Supervisor Hewell, Executive
executive officer, please call the roll. Item 1 is before you, Supervisor Solis. Aye. Supervisor Solis, aye. Supervisor Kuehl. Aye. Supervisor Kuehl, aye. Supervisor Barger. Aye. Supervisor Barger, aye. Supervisor Mitchell. Aye. Supervisor Mitchell, aye. Motion carries 4 to 0. Thank you. That concludes the administrative matter, executive officer. Please leave us into closed session. In accordance with grant requirements, notice is hereby given that the Board of Supervisors will convene a session.